All right, so here we go with round one. And when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all costs. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're gonna find yourself tapping and really wondering why, why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on this, huh? Ah, it's crazy. Straight punch land. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Lunges forward with a left there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh! Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Single collar tie here. Way to hide that leg kick. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice right hand. Diaz's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Diaz. Head kick lands. That one snuck in. Nice right. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. Landed the right hand there. Just missed with the left there. Wow, what a head kick. Nice strike. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, man, don't be afraid to raise the guard as another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in with us. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighter setting it up and just throwing that head kick over the top. Nice job setting it up. Good job landing. Great offense. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. He landed a good uppercut there. Beautiful knee. And they separate. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Man, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. What a fantastic strike to go. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. That was a jab. His opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. 
Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, look at him jumping in. Wow. Wow. Holy smokes. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's gonna enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate Diaz.